Time for a little new update. And did you need any accessories like SD cards or anything like that? No, um, do you guys have? I headed off to Puerto Rico for a few days, but I'm getting some production hub inquiries, some matches to, to my account. So I'm gonna answer those and hopefully those run through too. Honestly, this wouldn't be one of my vlogs if I didn't stop in at the airport lounge. And I'm doing this because I'm taking a random trip. Why am I able to just take a random trip? That's because I've chosen to be a freelancer and I like to have control of my time. I know it's not for everyone, but if I'm at a nine to five, I feel too constrained. I feel governed and I don't like having to ask for time away or I'll make up this time later. I much, much more prefer the structure of being a freelancer. And if I want to take time off, that's fine. That's the only justification I need. I don't need to say that I'm going to make up the hours later. I just get out of it what I put into it. So if I don't work, then I don't get paid and I'm okay with that. I just wanted to have a couple days where I took my dad snorkeling around Puerto Rico and just have a fun time guilt free. I know this situation is not for everyone and my life looks very different than a lot of others, but this is what I prefer. And right after I'm done here, I just go right back to work. Solid, solid. You got it? It's just going to be another, uh, you know, another day in the neighborhood. Flying freaking David and Puerto Rico. I'm like, all right, big dog, you're director now. You got this. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah don't, this is my station. Don't get any sand on my buttons. <laughs> so we got operator one looking at operator one rear wide crowd cam so this is our crowd cam six so we have a crowd cam down there seven is graphics with jd though so dalton has a bunch of premium gear all these sony lenses sony bodies but he um these are his tripods that he's been using to film surfing and beach events for years and years and they're showing their life um, but they're, they still work fun. Um, but we're going to switch to mine just has a little bit more fluid ability since this is the camera that's going to move between whoever's speaking. At the end of the vlog, I am hosting another Orlando filmmaker meetup, and that is a valuable asset for the community because a lot of jobs get passed around here. Case in point, Emmanuel has worked for Dalton a couple of times, and that connection was made at these meetups. So you never know who you're going to meet or what they need. It's Emmanuel, not, let me put this on your right. left shoulder. Oh, that's okay. So Dave, when JD gets back, just make sure you guys do one more triple. I didn't like to express my thoughts. You know, this is funny, but the shower was actually my I would never do something like this, but Dalton is a different breed. So let me explain. I'm not a fan of life switching jobs. However, he, I, and JD right here have had a ton of experience lately being part of the live broadcast for ESPN. We are on their top rank shows. It's his job, and then he contracts me from time to time. So this is obviously a much smaller scale, but I'm not a fan of it. I will do it just because it's for him, but this is his production that he is being hired for, and he is also speaking on the panel. I can't imagine how much of a brain split that is of giving a performance and also know that your team is dotting every I, crossing every T. It's live. To me, it just sounds like a nightmare. So I wouldn't do that, but I'm happy to get contracted for it. By the way, this vlog is just a diary. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not persuading anyone to do anything. I'm just sharing. This is what I like to do, and these are the consequences that come from it. I'm gonna take your two off. <laughs> There you go. You're back to Emmanuel now. <laughs> Is this the new Roadhouse movie? <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I don't think I posted the clip in one of my vlogs, but when I was walking down the street at night to meet up with a buddy for drinks, there was this guy drumming in a cafe in downtown 
all the lights were off, spotlight on him in a closed cafe. No one was there. And I had seen him a couple times. One time, I caught him right as he was coming out, got his number, got his name, and now I'm contacting the owner of the cafe, finding out his story. I think this could be a really cool documentary, but now I'm gonna call the doc character and and see what is the, the underlying story underneath this guy who works in a bakery, drums at night because his boss let him do that because his apartment doesn't allow, allow him to drum. That's the surp surface level story. And I know there's gonna be something deeper. It's been a while since I worked on a documentary. I did my MMA one and that like really jumped up my career and I'm, I'm really interested to sink my teeth into another one because it is so fun when you have your own personal project documentary so this is where it's going to take off i will document the process as i go through it which should be really cool um and uh yeah i think i got a new documentary project but now my buddy dalton uh just finished the job for him and we're going to his house because uh, he's got his own podcast and i'm gonna be the guest i really really like doing podcasts especially when it's when it's with buddies so this is gonna be a fun one. I'll post the link when it's out. But if I'm gonna explain it, let me just vlog it. So we have a very heavy C stand and some flags, AKA crop tops that is taking off all the light on the back. And then we got an LED RGB right there. We got another one here that's gonna be in the corner. And then you have a bunch more lenses. Nope, we're not gonna use that, that bar because we wanna be keyed from the far side and then the g master 50 50 mil and then a kit lens 50 mil i get the g master on my angle and then four no that's a 35 yeah 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 it's 35 35 we're about to get a new episode in so i have a job coming up in west palm beach where we need to connect an ipad with USB-C to a TV, so we're gonna use HDMI. So this is gonna go under a, an expense on the invoice for the clients. Picking up a lens rental shipment because I need two tentacle sinks for time code and I'm gonna be plugging them into two FX3s, not even using my Sony FX6 because the client wants MP4 and I'd rather record MP4 natively since the FX6 can't do that. So that's why we're using two FX3s. That is one of the small things I wish they would address in the FX6 Mark II is give me MP4 because MXF is great, but some of the clients that I have uh, prefer MP MP4 just because it's a little bit easier to work with. And I know it's not a professional codec, but that's the type of clients that I work with sometimes. And the FX6 can do MP4 because its proxies are MP4, but it only goes to 720. So the camera can do it. I just need 4K MP4. That would be great because I can give that to the lower level production value clients and then deliver MXF for those types of clients as well. It's going to be the biggest filmmaker meetup yet in this house, which is actually a studio. It's like a very modern look inside. So people are coming in about 45 minutes. I gotta get all these drinks. I have, I'm gonna kind of stage my gear up there too as, as like a focal point. It's been a while since I held an Orlando filmmaker meetup and I'm thinking about doing one in San Francisco cause I'm gonna be traveling there in April. But this is so nice to just have a room of creatives, producers, filmmakers, content creators, business owners, uh, of course I'm gonna put my gear on a spotlight like it's a museum, and just be able to talk about um, business ideologies or problem points. Uh, th this is super important, and I'm trying to spread this as much as possible because I think it's a really good thing for the community. And here I am just trying to wrangle cats, Emmanuel crushing it again. He provided the photos on this one, which I use as marketing material for the next one. So like I said, if there is interest in a San Francisco one, let me know. And I just want to keep growing this more and more because I keep getting hit up by people who say, when's the next one? When's the next one? When's the next one? 
uh, and I can take this anywhere. And like that, we are out. Got all the gear back in, and I have a ton of pizza. So Adam Kalinowski bought all the pizza for this event. So shout out to Adam. Ugh. And uh, it looks like I'm going to be eating pizza for a while or handing it out to people. But this is why I need a sponsor because I got the beverages, uh, Adam got the pizza, and a corporate company should be paying for all this. And I still want to keep the event free, but these, these meetups are like really fun stepping stones for me to learn about event promotion and you know hopefully grow this thing bigger and bigger one of the, the best principles my uh my, my trainer and coach taught me was that the best products are simply you pushed out that's how i feel about this podcast this podcast is just me pushed out to the world and for whoever likes me they're gonna like this podcast and it's gonna feel very second nature to me to create this podcast because it's just me 